Now let's check the voltage going to this zone valve at the different coloured wires. Now there is nothing turned on here at all, so we've got nothing calling on the time clock and there's nothing on the central heating or hot water and the zone valve is set at its default setting of hot water. So remember we're not calling for any heat whatsoever so let's see if this grey wire does have 230 40 volts going to it all the time. Now I'm going to test from the neutral not the earth so I'm going to put my black lead on the neutral and I'm going to go onto the grey wire and we've got 248 volts AC if I go to the white wire we've got zero and if I go to the orange wire we've got zero so that proves that even though everything is turned off the zone valve motor still gets power going to it via the grey wire now because the zone valve is already in hot water let's turn the hot water on so we're going to just put it on to continuous but we're not calling for any heat so if we go on to the neutral again we check on the grey we've got 247 we check at the white we've got zero and we check at the orange we've got zero now let's turn the stat up and see what happens so instantly the light came on because it's already in the hot water position but let's see what voltage we've got now at each wire so grey ooh. so on the grey now we've got 25 volts on the white we've got 2 volts and on the orange we've got 246 so basically what's happening is the power from here well from the clock it's gone straight into here and straight down the orange so it'll bring the boiler and pump on now let's turn the water off and this time put the heating on so I'll turn the hot water off on the time clock so we're going heating only so again we was no light on We've not moved yet because we're not calling for any heat again we'll check at the wires gray we've now got 247 white we've got zero and orange we've got zero let's now turn on the stat and let's wait for the valve